Yeah, welcome guys. I have no idea if you can hear me or not. But uh, in every case, welcome. I quickly need to adjust my the style of my camera a bit. Nice. Okay, um let me quickly Yeah, okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, in every case, the stream is, is working. Perfect. Uh, BIF, hi. Um, what's up? What's up, bro? Uh, what is your computer uh, spec? Okay, so I can do a Neo fetch. You know, I have an AMD Ryzen 7 5700X and RTX 3070. And 16 gigs of RAM. Yeah, running Arch and yeah, my yeah, window manager. Uh, Ragnar. So that's basically my setup. Yeah. Okay. So uh, today, what we are doing is uh, yeah, keeping on programming our. Um, yeah, graphical user interface library, uh, which is called Lave, actually, and uh, yeah, so that's um, that's a setup I did, um, like just to just for the thumbnail, mostly, and um, yeah, so uh, for now we can render. Uh, I can show. Um, I can show you the code for that. Um, what we can now do is basically a. Is NVIDIA driver working well in Winner Manager? Yeah, it's working very well. Um, I have no problems. Uh, it's I think it's generally working well um, with Xorg. Uh, so no problems there. Uh, I have problems with Hyperland. <laughs> That's why I'm not using it. Um, so yeah, it's not working on my graphics card. But um, yeah. So it's working very very smoothly. Uh, I don't have PCOM enabled right now, right now, but also animations work perfectly, like in Wayland. Um, so yeah, it's pretty nice. I think I'm going to turn them off just to make it a little bit more snappy. Um, okay, cool. Um, so that's the code for um, for the interface. So it's pretty easy. We can um, with our batch renderer we can um, load textures and do some other stuff. And it's, it's about like 500 lines. It's pretty much self-contained. We have yeah, okay, we have a few like uh, dependencies like GLAD and STB image and stuff. But yeah, I'm not writing my own OpenGL functions because it doesn't make sense. Like Look at this! It's just ex uh, a lot of a lot of uh, function definitions, and STB image is just yeah. I, I, I will not write my own PNG um, parser. Yeah. Uh, okay. So um, we what I actually want to do today is uh, font rendering because like a I think a graphical user interface maybe needs fonts, just maybe. It 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 could, ah, it could work um, pretty well with fonts. I uh, wonder what uh, is the is the Vim color scheme. Uh, the Vim color scheme is Everforest. Uh, so I'm using uh, Neo Vim with NVChat, and they have. Uh, very like they have a lot lots of uh, color schemes and I use Everforest because my setup is uh, Everforest ish and um, yeah uh, so that's what I use um, okay nice so um, let's let's uh, look up uh, font rendering in OpenGL um, because like uh, 
can learn OpenGL. Is, isn't there a, a article on learn OpenGL? I hope there is. Yeah, next rendering. Uh, nice. Okay, so bitmap fonts. Okay, they use free type. And mm -hmm. I don't know if it if that's a good way. Uh, maybe maybe let's ask ChatGPT. Um, all right, a quick font renderer in OpenGL with uh, with free type. Like all of those, all of this setup um, stuff, all of this like um, how do you call it this boilerplate-ish stuff. I don't feel like completely writing on my own. Oh no, in modern OpenGL. That's not modern OpenGL. Use OpenGL 4.6 modern standards. Standards. I'm sorry. Um. Okay. Yeah, they basically use. Um. OpenGL using fonts. Okay. Um, text rendering. I think Google it may, might be better. Um, font batching. Open or oh, text batch. Batch rendering text open here. Text rendering. <laughs> okay, there is like a Windows library for that with Visual Studio. Uh, rendering text fast. Okay, bro. Um, Okay, let's look at learn OpenGL quickly. Okay, so they use free type, and then could not init free type library. Uh, okay, then uh, then they initial initialize it and they load every character. So what are they actually doing? They they're loading them. Fail to load glyph. Okay, they they're loading them. And then they have shaders and okay, and then they they render GL bind vertex array zero and mm hmm wait GL buffer data zero no what the fuck uh, GL bind they so they bind it and they bind the buffer. And then they but they unbind it, but where do they draw? Here, render text. Okay, render text <laughs> calls um, as a draw call for every. Uh, Ro Rojo, hi there. Uh, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Should I? Yeah, I think the gaps are not. I think I don't need them. Uh, text rendering 2D game render text. Is there like a free type documentation? Free type documentation. Free type tutorial. Uh, if yeah, okay, I can't think of global. Simple text rendering, advanced text rendering, 
um, library initialization, loading a font face. Okay, so creating a new font face by a face describes a given typeface and style, for example. Uh huh. Okay, so we can load a TTF and okay from memory we don't need that accessing the face data set chars as setting the current pixel size three times two use size objects to model mm -hmm. loading a glyph image converting a character code into a glyph index Okay, I think I think oh, <laughs> they're an OpenGL, but do they have text rendering? Where, where is it in advanced OpenGL? Uh, here, text rendering. You already committed to draw everything with OpenGL, or it's not too late yet to switch to Xlib. That where you will be able to draw stuff with CPU, which is more fun. Um, yeah, that. I thought of that as well. I originally wanted to do that, but um, yeah, it's not it's not fast and also not modern. <laughs> so yeah, I think OpenGL is the better solution to do it like um, uh, GPU accelerated. Uh, but yeah, okay, they also can do that. So they init it, and then. Yeah, we could do something like instead of they okay they do something like they use the shader and then they uh, they have the character is equal to that and then they get the vertices yeah okay so what we could do is just insert those vertices we could we could um, like draw text just does um, goes through every text uh, goes I mean goes through all of the characters okay characters at see okay I think characters and characters is like an array they define somewhere yeah here and okay yeah we could do something like um, character and it has a char pointer string and mm -hmm. yeah okay so what what we actually need to do is uh, first okay we uh, what we need to do is like have a um, uh, first, like, um, okay, they have a texture ID. Each character has a separate texture ID. That's very dumb. CPU is surprisingly fast and can um, mem copy some cache letter at 60, F 60 FPS around a buffer to get some sweet picture. I'm not sure if GPU is needed for that. Um, yeah, but what if, uh, what is with, um, so like with so that's the current setup uh, like with uh, drawing like uh, rounded corners or blurring shadows and like uh, um, having a responsive UI and drawing textures and doing like drawing thousands of textures um, so that's what my libraries are set up for so it's like uh, it's basically um, uh, focusing only on performance so uh, like a lot of uh, on performance and um, obviously also on usability so it's it should be a performant usable library to make GUIs in C very easily um, yeah and yeah that's why I think uh, that OpenGL is just it, it's just a better way you know um, yeah 
but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's also fun. I like OpenGL, but text rendering, yeah, I don't know. But okay, so everyone has a separate texture ID, and when they when do they get assigned? Um, GeoTex <laughs> they create texture. Okay, and GeoTex parameter I and yeah. Okay, but uh, when do they? Okay, I get what you're doing here. Yeah, yeah. Um. Ah, okay, here. Um. So for every, I'm sure you could like um, load this to into a um, set in a into a into one texture. Uh, free type load font face to a spreadsheet. Mm-hmm. They're basically doing the same thing as an open Uh Geotexture zero. They get all of the vertices. Texture atlas. Set pixel size, unpack alignment, load char. <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's basically wrong. Continue generating. I think I think you can't code. Uh, your um. Yeah, like free type load from to texture rendering fonts with free type. Uh, I don't recall what is the pixel we're using. Load from buffer. Geobind texture this text text name Mm-hmm. A. I made OpenGL rendering engine and I can render shapes, 3D shaped textures, then I wanted to render fonts. I use free type library to do this, but I have one serious problem with it. When I render text, font looks terrible. Yeah, how to create a bitmap font. Uh, in the free type implementation of the function, or the free type library. Okay. So basically, okay, the mem set the buffer to that, and then for every buffer, they get the diff matrices and the diff hang marks on the baseline with at i buffer. Uh huh. Okay, um, you can 
kind of do it, I guess, but, um, yeah, like, there needs to be a, like, a texture, but then we have it like this, um, Free type fonts part one. Free type fonts. Text rendering using free type what not working correctly. Um, probably I don't like uh, messing with GPU because it's harder to come up with the right shaders instead of just drawing stuff. Text with example. True. Yeah. I get it. Like, get why you would do that. Yeah. Um, quick and dirty max texture size estimate. <laughs> Free type fonts in OpenGL. Okay, so they get the font data and make the list. Ah, glit, bit map, map glyph that. Okay, and then they're okay, yeah, they are. Here we will fill the data for the expanded clip bitmap. Init textures equal to this. Char size geogen textures 128 <laughs> textures. Oh, they are not even using modern OpenGL. Oh my god, oh my god. Hot cold fonts. Hmm. Okay, sorry for spamming. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> no, no problem. And I mean, you're not spamming. Handles open the fonts of free type. We might take a look at that. But I think. Oh, get size, change height, get character glyph. Is there something like render? We might take a look at that, but yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. Batching font, batching text. Oh, yeah. I, what would be cool is just, um, okay, what we could do is like, um, is like, uh, like, um, doing, uh, like, um, creating, um, Creating a um, a font atlas. Okay, let's look at this With subtitles. I think you might hear it, but I but I don't. Text rendering. Uh, SDB true type. Okay. Font rendering SDB true type. Um Oh my god, bake font bitmap? How cool is that? Uh in pure SDL, okay. 
without font, get font matrices, get the size of font. Okay, so uh, get font matrices, get the size of the text. Um, okay. The end font is just a picture, you can download some PNG. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> that's like what I'm trying to do is generating that picture, generating the atlas. And um, I think stb true type does that, uh, but stb true type tutorial, stb true type example. Uh, main dot C. Okay, they do that and size equal to this. SDB init font. Uh, bitmap SDB scale for pixel height. SDB get font matrix. SDB. Okay. Yeah, that's not a really good example. Mm. Okay, so what they are doing is like let's just reference. Oh, are they even using o using OpenGL? I I, th I don't think so. No, they're not. Oh God, using STB true type. In L W J G L, <laughs> how can I render text with modern OpenGL and STB true type and too much for one sit? I think. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Okay, so what are they doing? Uh huh. Does ChatGPT know something about that? Uh, generate um, bitmap for font in std true type. No, 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 I think so. Uh, how to generate a bitmap? Okay, I'm actually getting cold, wait. Okay, um, I'm back, I'm back, um, nice, 
So how to generate a bitmap with um, stb true type and opengl and is the stream okay um, with opengl and um, rendering yeah just that. Mm-hmm. Determine the oh, nice. Oh, that's basically perfect. Oh my god, nice, nice guys, let's go. Um Cool. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Very very cool. Um, okay, so now let's uh, let's uh, download this. Let's download. Um, can we copy it? And then do. Um, let's see. Vendor, make deer. I think the camera positioning is not the greatest. Right. That's also not good now. Like that, maybe. It's gonna fall down. Because I'm like. Well, I like that. Okay. Um. Yeah, nice. Uh, like, okay, so make your stb true type, cd stb true type, and um, yeah, touch stb true type dot h. Uh, I don't know if okay, cool. There's it's probably like um, uh, like STB image, so yeah, STB true type implementation. Uh, so STB true type dot C and hash define. Oops, hash define that and hash include uh, STB true type dot H and um, so the make file of the dependencies. Uh, let's do. Let's add um, stb true type. Yes. Oh no, we can't. We can't do that. So stb true type. Dot c and stb true type. Dot o dash i. Stb true type. Uh, stb true type nice and also in the make file of the of this thing let's add bin slash you could do just bin slash i think that all like this and um gcc dash c And then we do dash i vendor slash stb true type. Cool. And, um, okay, that's nice. And now inside, um, uh, inside scripts, build depths, okay, and uh, build all, also okay. That's okay, I think everything of that is okay. So let's. Go into uh, CD scripts and let's do dot slash install to completely reinstall everything. Uh, no such further directory scripts in build depths dot dot h. CD scripts is not there. Why? Um, build depths dot h. Make 
okay we can generally just don't do that mm -hmm. so it compile it compiles all of this and building life okay it seems to work nice um cool uh so that's uh that's that uh so now let's do uh in life we'll look at this and um what we'll have to do is um yeah like basically um how to render characters from that bit map with modern OpenGL. Set up the vertical right, perfect. Uh-huh, create a shader program. Rendering loop, here's an example. I love it. I love AI. Um, okay, fragment source, yeah. Create shader. Um, okay, okay. Do buffer data? Yeah, continue generating. Um, bro. Thank you. Uh, okay, creates the shader. Shader program attach. Yeah, load font texture. Okay, GL use program for each character. Be render set the model matrix. Update the vertex positions. Um. Wait, wait, wait. And texture coordinates. Uh, ah, okay, I get it. And then. You bind the buffer, yeah, but then kind of, um, hmm, yeah, so how do I know the texture growing out? Um, how to get the text chords for each character to be drawn in the bitmap? To get the texture coordinates, has to be bake font bitmaps. You will. Ah, Chavo and Chang Height. Uh huh, uh huh. Perfect. Thank you, man. Thank you. Um. So characters ensure that the uh -huh. you bind the font texture and then texture location. Okay, so for every character there is a different um, chord, obviously. I get. I guess um, after calling you will uh, have generated font bitmap containing the glyphs. Additionally, you. You will get the glyph width and heights in the char width and char height various bells respectively. Before rendering the characters, calculate the text chords for each glyph by dividing the. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, represent the x and y at the top in the glyph. Store the calculated text chords for each character to be drawn along. Uh, if I want to render a string with that font bitmap, how do I do it? To render a string, assuming you have to. Okay. Okay. Okay, they do that, and then. Okay. Uh, update the values position based on characters 
position and size. How do I calculate? For each character in the string, HM matrices. <laughs> so for every for everything in the text, get code point HM. Calculate the advance and bearing. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's actually how we get um, the vertex positions, but um, so when should we do that? Should we do that when we load the font? So that's the the thing right now. Um, I set the initial y position. Ah, okay. Um, advance and left bearing. Get code point H and matrices. Yeah. So with that, we get the texture coordinates and so vertex position and text codes. And the vertex positions, yeah, I think we know the vertex positions. Um, so, so when do we do that? We do that when when we are loading the font, I guess. And then we do it for every uh, for every character. How could I get the text chords for every character in the font when I load it, when I load the font? What is your monitor? Okay, sh is it showable in here? Uh, resolution only. Yeah, okay, so I have this, I have those monitors, and I have a MSI. Ah, here, MSI Optics G27 series. Yeah. Num characters. Uh, what is num characters? Ah, oh, okay. Get number of ones. Okay. Um. Cool. All right. So now we basically have everything. So um, let's have something like um. Uh, load fonts will just um, yeah. What will fo load fonts do? Like characters at i characters is like a dynamic array. Okay, so we could load the font. Yeah, and then um, to. Um, yeah, to like uh, write something to render a text, we need to pass in a font. Okay, so uh, type the struct uh, font. 
and the font has um, uh, the font has like um, left, right, top, and bottom text chord. Yeah, true. So float uh, text chord left text chord uh, right text chord text chord um, top and text chord bottom. I think he means like. Bot, uh, B left, uh, B right, and T left, T right. I think that's all of the text codes we need. And um, yeah, okay. So uh, I think that's everything we need in the font. Or yeah, okay. I think we need more. We maybe need. Or do we? Okay, so in where did he say how to load a font? Um, load font. Um, you get the bitmap, and um, yeah, the bitmap is just that. Okay, and then yeah, we could start the bitmap in the textures array. Yeah. For rendering fonts on OpenGL window, what are you using? Uh, STB true type. Using STB true, true type this library. Um yeah. Okay. Um uh, nice. So let's do um static Static, um, yeah, U8 uh, points uh, load font, uh, const sharp under file path, um, font width and font height. Yeah, we could use that, I guess. Probably don't need it. But let's. Let's just return it font width and font height. So what I want to do is when loading the font, I want to set up everything, have the buffer, and also already maybe yeah okay we don't need to instantly like push. Uh like okay, but um I want to create a um OpenGL texture with that. Um, and yeah so we want to have an OpenGL texture um, for the bitmap uh, which I'm going to store in the font array so this should technically return font um, So we basically we don't need to return this. We just return LF font, or how did I call it? Just font. So LF font, and um, it returns. And the this LF font has a un 32 t text ID, or it has it just has a texture. So LF texture text or bitmap, and um, this returns an LF font just from a file path and okay so cool so we get a font from a file path that's nice uh, text create underneath that let's have this and I think this should not be here it should be somewhere here uh, yeah maybe like that and uh, load font like that, and um, we have an LF font, LF font, font, uh, and we're going to return that font. And um, okay, so we have file, file is equal to f open file path, 
read bytes and fseek uh, so we seek okay so let's let's include okay we have we have std included and i think that's that uh, in the file the offset should be zero yeah and um seek end so i guess just basically searching the file and uh, then doing um uh file size okay we can do unit 32 t file size equal to ftel um file And then the same thing again, okay. I have no idea why, but let's trust ChatGPT. Um, uh, bath is equal to U8, uh, yeah, okay, technically. It's a malloc um, file size. And F read from, uh, or just bath one. File size file. Okay, so I guess reading the contents of the file into the buffer, and then stbt t font info font info. Okay, and that identifier. So let's do hash include um, hash include stb root type dot h. I think we didn't bear make, so bear make stb true type is not found, uh, which means that I have something wrong in here. So stb true type. Oh. Okay. And uh, life. This should now work. Perfect. And uh, stb tt font info. Um, so font, uh, font width and font height, oh, okay, um, do we need that for anything, yeah, okay, we do, so in 32 t font width, font height, we could theoretically have, um, unit 32 t width, just for uh, completeness I think we missed it uh, okay so font width and font height and um, desired font width desired font height oh Um, okay, so font width, font height. Okay, so let's try and do a new chat. Um, how to get the width and Height of a font file in stb true tab. stb tt retrieve the font scale factor. Okay. Uh, after executing the character, it will be will contain the width. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Pointer to the font data, font offset, offset of. Okay. Offset of the font within the file. Yeah, zero, I guess. Uh, okay, so we knit the font and then we do font scale, font size, retrieve the scale factor. The scale factor is used 
to convert font units to pixel units. You can obtain it by that function and passing desired font size. Okay, so um, uh, I don't really understand why to pass font size. Is font scaling? Yes, yeah, I don't. Um, how to load a font into a bitmap in a true type? Not that, uh, not like this. Um, worse. <laughs> uh, like generate a bitmap texture in OpenGL that contains the font that contains the TTF font that was loaded in STB true type and C and that in a new chat. Okay, font file path, texture width, texture height. But um, um, what if the font bitmap is bigger than the given size? Then texture width or texture height. You can allocate a large texture then ca that can accumulate multiple glyphs. As you render each glyph, you determine its position with the atlas and update the UV coordinates accordingly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, load. Okay, so let's just, um, yeah, let's use like 1024, maybe. Uh, so in font load. Didn't I call it that? Load font, ah. Oh. Um, yeah, desired font width and desired font height. Mm hmm, but yeah, okay, let's let's say. 
let's just say, um, yeah, they, those are the size, yeah, those are the size of the texture. So let's, um, okay, load font. We, we've got that. And now, like, uh, font width is equal to 1024, 1024, and unsigned, like, U8. Bitmap is equal to malloc uh, font width times font height Yeah Okay, so we malloc that and then we do stbt bake font bit bitmap that yeah that Bitmap offset is zero. Pixel height is uh, 1024 uh, pixels. Is uh, bitmap and 1024 again. I guess font width, font height, font width, font height again. Okay. Uh, so 1024. Um, first char is zero. None chars. Okay, let's just say that. And um, font bitmap. Uh, okay, so bitmap. I'm trying to implement TCP hole punching for an that's traversal but not successful for the last two days. Do you have any info about it? Uh no. TCP hole punching. What even <laughs> what even is TCP hole punching? Oh my god. Um TCP traversal and TCP hole tra punching to hosts. Um uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea about that. I'm absolutely not the kind of guy that does that, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that sounds interesting. Uh, in which language are you implementing it? Uh, incompatible pointer to STB bake char. Yeah, okay, I think we can. STBTT baked char pointer. Nice. Um, and we free the uh, buff and bake the font bitmap. Um, okay. Cool. Um, but. Okay, so actually we return the buffer. We first free and then return. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> so, um, is a very hackery. It's very hackery and needs raw socks. I think UDP is much easier. Um, ah, okay. I love Ragnar VM. It's awesome. I can't contrib since I don't know C, but I'd love to. Um, thank you very much for the great words. Um, I re I really appreciate uh, yeah, that you're liking it. Very nice. Um, yeah, but um, unfortunately, yeah, okay, you can't contribute. Um, yeah, yeah, like it's written in C, which makes it like maybe a bit harder to contrib con to contribute. And uh, I don't know, my coding style is like you see, um, it's pretty much the same. So I have one file in which I do everything, 
and um, and yeah, I I have like the function declarations at top, and it's it can get a, a little bit a little messy for someone uh, so for some people, but I really don't like having so like tons of files. So yeah, that's why I'm doing it like this. But yeah, if you don't know C, then yeah, unfortunately, I think you can't contribute. Maybe adding like some script or something. Like um, I think uh, like the most people that contributed to Ragnar just added like scripts or fixed like typos and stuff, which is like very nice. For example, one dude like added a script for installation on Ubuntu. Yeah, that that was really nice. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, socket library in Python, nice. I can contribute via docs though. True. Um, yeah, so I I have this project. Um, I can show you. Wait. Um, here, it's um, it's written in TypeScript and um, like you see, it's uh, it's like basically a website for Ragnar. And um, you, we have docs, but they're not finished. You see, um, yeah, that's uh, th that's a little, a little bit bad. Uh, yeah, I, I, I could definitely. So <laughs> I wouldn't uh, like say no to it, but um, yeah. Okay, nice. So, um, uh, text ID, text ID, and uh, GA binds texture, GA texture to D, text ID, and GA text image to D, GA texture to D, GA red. Pretty good uh, website, not gonna lie. Thank you. Um, I yeah, I I also like it. I think it's pretty cool. Like I made it in five days, and for that, it's pretty nice because like we even have like key binding search <laughs> and stuff. So that's pretty nice. Um, so thank you. Oh my god, I. Oh, where is my chat? Oh, let's see. Nice. Um, okay, so, uh, font, or like, yeah, font width, font height, uh, border zero, format, again, gl red, type, gl unsigned, byte, I think it's byte in, uh, open uh, and then the bitmap. So now we have the, uh, the thing. Um, let's do font dot bitmap and like can't we do get um, size of a font bitmap in stb true type or like I'm gonna uh, go try out this new game I got. Um, I'll be back soon. Keep uh, doing what you do because your work is awesome. Sa thank you very much. Thank you. Um, yeah, have fun at the game. Um, cool. Okay, so um, bitmap size width and height. Specify the def desired font size. Okay, so you need to like <laughs> you need to like um, specify a font size when you're creating the font. Am I right? Okay, yeah, whatever. Uh, let's have it like that's bad. Uh, can you also get uh, 
But that's obvious, I mean, you can't like... You can't do that. Um. Uh, drawing text in different sizes in SGB true type and open here. Generating uh, file size, load font file, font file path. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Okay, here the text width and height based on the font size. Okay, and is all of that. Continue generating, bro. <laughs> text texture. Um. Okay, they're having. Okay, they they have this bitmap, um, scaled bitmap, text width, uh, get scale, text width and text height, font size. Yeah, okay, you need to specify the font size in advance. Didn't I like had heard it there? Didn't I have um he showed me somewhere how to How to fucking like uh has to be back front that not I think I saw it. Um specify a font size for every text you draw and drawing it with the specified size in STV true tab. Come on. Okay. Better. Okay, does this? Okay, so let's say uh, one thousand twenty-four, one thousand twenty-four, and um, okay, then we generate uh, the texture and um, font bitmap font bitmap ah dot id uh, font bitmap dot id uh, nice and then we do this and um Okay. 
That's actually hard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When we draw that bad boy. Can't we do like STB true type example? Allocate memory for the output image. Why is, why is fucking font rendering so hard? I hate this. We have the text cards, okay? And that's it. Initialize the GFW library, basic, create the programs, and then you have the texture coordinates. Mm hmm. You're generating, and you get the vertices. Ah, oh, those are the vertices. And okay, continue. ChatGPT, you got it. Okay, I'm very sure that this is not going to work, but let's try just nvim test.cpp. GLM obviously doesn't exist. Has to be true type doesn't exist. So I include. Um, do I have GLM? I have GLM. GLM slash GLM. Has to be true type dot age. I don't have that. So let's do. Um, wave vendor has to be true type. Has to be true type dot age. And okay, cool. No, only two errors. Becomes char. GLM author and GLM value pointer. So hash include GLM GTC matrix transform and hash include GLM GTC type pointer. Nice. Um, GCC test.cvp um, Wait. Let's look at the make file. Uh, dash O test and um, dash. Wait, make file. You can't tell me that I'm not linking thousands of libraries. Uh, here. Yeah, here, like, uh, pack pkg config dash dash c flags gfw3 and, um, dash l. And that, um, okay, let's test. Plus, 
Okay, we don't have that, so dash LGL. Dash LGL. LGFW10, stuff is not found. Uh, hmm. Glue, bind, buffer. Can't we just do um, and then test at CPP? Um, oh, I'm using glue. Do we even. The, the, this file does exist, okay. So, just like this. Uh, glue. LGL. Um, dash LGFW. Okay, now only square root, so dash LM. Okay, uh, I think we. There needs to be like glue.c and glue.c. Um, Okay, so CD death this CD glue. Oh my god, bro. Make 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 insta. Pseudo make insta. Just want glue. Let's see. Source. Just give me glue. Let's see. Um. Yeah. Search. Let's see raw. You don't want to see source file. Let's go. Let's go. Arbeit. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. All right. Uh, okay. So this is uh, bullshit. Why? The fuck is this so dumb? Why can't there be some like just glue that C on GitHub? So glue that C GitHub. All right, just let's let's use fucking like um, copy. I'm, why am I even doing that? Yeah, whatever. Uh, glad source glad dot c glad dot c and mvim test and we include um live vendor glad source uh, glad include glad glad dot h and um, we don't do that we do if not glad lord yeah, loader glad lord proc uh, if we get proc address, like that. Get proc address. If that's not the case, then print a fuck. Uh, like this. And okay, so now this hopefully should. Theoretically, maybe work by um, dash i vendor no dash i wave vendor glad uh, include uh, just yeah I glad include and glad dot c perfect dot slash test fail to open font file ah obviously. Um, Test.cpp area.ttf. 
area ttf download um, download um, all right cd downloads um, unzip area dot zip um, area dot ttf copy area dot ttf dot dot slash def slash yeah cd cd def dot slash test all right we see nothing chat gpt you stupid shit you dog shit I, oh my god dude i implement i you're not you, bro you're not serious you're you, bro that's not that's not fuck why did i even do that man isn't there a fucking like just a normal documentation of stb true type tutorial bro parsing fonts with it. i I'm, I'm going to look at the youtube video right now oh my god oh my god what I'm the in fuck the of trying to get intro of each guys and i can experiment with them and figure out how i want to get it all working <sighs> For this, I'm adding a new folder called dependencies, and any library I rely on. Maybe read documentation. There is no documentation. STB true type documentation. There is no documentation of STB true type. So now I'm no real documentation. So next, I start going through the library and picking out the API. Is that guy having a his own operating system? I think he's not. I hope he's not. Isn't SDV means code is documentation? Hmm. Yeah, but uh, I'm not going to read through the 8000 lines of code. Like, it must be simple to read. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think I just want like an article that's explaining how to do that. Is, isn't that, is that, like, I love this through back. I don't think I don't have headphones. I'm in the middle of um, right now. I, I, I need so to turn on my GBL box. So now I need to start parsing font. My plan will be to use an external library to first extract information from T. I have to start with Slate, where I can spin up the usage code for STB, the STB true type API, and I can experiment with them and figure out how I want to get it all working. As usual, this is just temporary. Once I've got the basic features that I want working, I can transplant this work into the code base. So far, the only dependencies I've had in my code base are from the C standard library and the OS provided libraries. This is the first time I'm adding a dependency that I have to organize myself. For this, I'm adding a new folder called dependencies and any library I rely on version of the rest of my code base. That's all the structuring work I needed to do. So next I start going through the library and picking out the APIs that I need to render glyphs and get the metrics for them out of the TTF file. You need only definitions to see what functions are, just grab them. Yeah, but you know, I don't know how to, like what to even do when initializing fonts, when drawing fonts and stuff, you know? 
no idea with to like for rendering I never did that in OpenGL. I thought it was easy, but it apparently isn't. That guy's actually using Windows. Oh my god. Ah, he's actually reading the documentation. I, I think you're right. Rogo. I think I've just done. Okay. I can find all the glyphs, get their metrics, and render them. But the library is limited in its ability to map code points to glyphs. It does have a function that maps a given loaded font and a code point to a glyph index, but it requires me to keep the font file loaded and to go through the STB API every time. It doesn't have a way for me to comprehend the whole map. If I want to build my own map data structure and cut out the library after that, I would have to map every possible key through the mapping function. In the case of font rendering, there are 3 times 2 to the 19, or approximately 1.5 million code points, which are the keys I would have to put into the mapping function. Even really large font files, on the other hand, are only going to contain a few thousand code points. So not being able to comprehend the whole map is creating a lot of cost compared to what I should be able to achieve. One thing I could do here is try to get by with just committing to using a limited range of characters. For instance, I could take the ASCII range and ignore the rest. But I would rather just solve the problem in a relatively complete way as early as possible. Well, the thing is that... I'll be working a bit fits to... So what he is doing? Okay, let's let's look at that. I think I, my guess is that in the end it will draw glyphs as pictures to somewhere. Find function that does it. This basically it must take buffer where function will store image and go back from it. Yeah, true. Like I think I kind of need to take a break because like I can't think. I can't think correctly. So he gets the matrices, then it goes through every glyph. So he goes through every glyph and does a bitmap for every glyph. Am I seeing that correctly? So uh, glyph count, how does he get the glyph count? Um, huh, how does he get the glyph count? Um, Info.num glyphs. Yeah, I think I think do, doing that hard work on stream is a little bit over over the top. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, I think I, I I'll have to do that off stream and yeah, this is like the last thing that we need to imp implement. Um, the last thing I don't know how to implement, like the GUI library, it will be like basically um yeah just just logical things and like font rendering for example you have to like know an api and stuff and this like you know the i don't like those things for um, as like in open i don't really like them because it's like fucking 
um, very complicated and unnecessarily complicated. I think it's not even complicated. I think I'm just done. Because I think this library is actually pretty cool. And it does it. It's not very complicated. Um, yeah, I have to take a break and end the stream. Yeah, it was not <laughs> that much of a productive stream, I know. Um, yeah, uh, last time was pretty productive, I guess. This time not so much, I'm, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, tomorrow, uh, I think I'm going to stream tomorrow as well, and, yeah, uh, we'll work on the library for real this time. Uh, yeah, I hope you can, um, yeah, like, I apologize <laughs> for not being so productive, because fun training, I, I don't know, I, I just don't like it. <laughs> Um, yeah, but still, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and 